So uh, it's great to have an opportunity to introduce this. It's brand new. Um, it just I updated this uh, GitHub repo yesterday, so no one really has had a chance to look at it yet. Uh, so what is Broadsy? It's um, hopefully the fastest, uh, easiest way to get your own copy of Atlas and Hades up and running. And my demo today is just to walk through this site, uh, follow the instructions, and to show you that we can get Atlas and Hades running uh, with, by the end of this call. So it's eight minutes. Now I'm going to cheat a little bit because I've already downloaded some of the, the components that need to be downloaded, but I'm going to follow these instructions. And uh, just to say what Broadsea is, it's uh, packaged versions of Atlas and Hades, and in the future, some more Odyssey applications like Perseus and Ares. Um, it's been packaged up using Docker technology, so you have to have uh, a few dependencies installed. So we need Docker, and, and there's a link over to how you install Docker here. There's a Git just to be able to download this repo. And then you need a Chrome web browser just because that's what you need for Atlas. So what I've already done is I've just cloned this repo. And then I'm going to go on to the next step, which is to do this wonderful magic command. And I'll just do an LS so you can see it. It's not too important what's in the terminal, so I'll just try and explain what I'm doing as I type it. But I'm just going to start up Broadsy. So I just have to do this doc compose dot minus D. And what that's going to do is start a bunch of Docker containers in the background, which again isn't that important just to show the demo. Uh, but I have a slide if anyone was interested in the technical side of, of how it's working, because there's a little bit of magic here. <laughs> so I started up Broadsea. So I did by what so I've done a uh, clone, I've cloned this uh, repo. I've done Docker Compose up minus D. That's it. That's all I've done. I'm going to go to this special URL, which is just a local host and broad C. And this is just a, a website. It's it's being um, it's being shown out uh, just through the uh, broad C uh, reverse proxy. But essentially, it's just something that's very customizable. So it's just HTML, CSS, and if you want to do your own demos, you want to have your own version of this, you can just easily go in and update the the, the broad C config to do it. So I set up the containers with that one command, and now I have <clears throat> RStudio, so my pass to get into it. Um, so in this container, this has the full um, Hades packages all installed, ready to go. So we just go down to packages here. I'll just show you some of them. <clears throat> so we've got cohort diagnostics, you know, database connector, all those things are already uh, installed. And it's also a, a persistent environment to be able to, to run packages and to do work. So um, if you make changes in this environment in this file system and you shut down all the containers and you bring it back up, everything that you change will be there. So it is really like having your own little uh, Hades instance that you can work with. And it's good for demos. Um, it's potentially good for running network studies and things like that. So that's Hades. And then um, I'm going to go over to Atlas. So again, I just did this one command, right? So to get this running. So uh, Anna did a really nice demo. Everyone did great demos, but I, I just think it would be nice to, to show you that same Phoebe functionality using Broadsea. So we started off Atlas. Um, we've injected a, a couple of you know, a cohort definition, a concept set, just for training kinds of uh, demonstration purposes. You don't have to have anything in here. And then because this is the latest version of Atlas, uh, oops, it would be good if I went to concept sets. There we go. Because it's the latest version, then we have the Phoebe uh, functionality here, so I can also, you know, add the concept set and do that fun stuff. So, so what is in here? This is. Um, this is a database with a demo data, and I think uh, it was already mentioned, Unomio is a very small synthetic uh, data set. And so, you know, we can play around with the Unomio data. All the usual you know, reports are here. There's a cohort definition here, and we can generate it. So this is a full version of Atlas that's up and running. And you might ask, well, where's the database? 
So um, I created an Atlas DB Postgres container and it has everything that Atlas needs to start up. It's all uh, configured. And I also added this demo uh, data set, this Unomia data set. Um, it's possible to point that same database, the source and the source daemon table to be specific over to your own CDM. Um, and then it um, eliminates the need to have a separate Postgres database of your own. So this uh, broad sea could be used not just for demos like I'm showing here, but potentially uh, as part of your actual installation um, at your own site. So that's the quick uh, demonstration. I'll just show there's a little bit more you know, functionality, but if you're familiar with Atlas, this is what it is, it's Atlas. Um, we do plan to add some more applications going forward. So expect this list of applications to grow quite a lot over time. And um, I'm going to get some help from uh, Nate Buskins, who has volunteered to help me to uh, containerize, dockerize more Odyssey applications. And I also want to give a little shout out to, to Joris Bordorf because um, he's really been great at sort of standardizing the, the broad C containers. Um, and in fact, it was uh, this final version of broad C 2.0 was based on uh, pull request that he submitted. So I just like to thank him for that. <laughs>